Hello. How you doing? Uh, the title of this video is The Race That's Never Won. What I'm talking about again, race in this country. It seems like every about six, seven, eight months or so, I either hear about something, feel something about something some sort of way, or experience something. In this case, it's kind of usually one thing I'll let it slide here, there, but actually three things, actually. And this actually goes, this actually started actually with me literally all within the last about five days. Uh, you know, my car been down for a while and I had to catch a bus and I was on the bus one day and and it was a couple of guys that were Caucasian, white of you and calm was on the bus. They were just minding their own business, not buying nobody. And somebody black was cousin them out, call them all sorts of names. They wasn't doing the guys that went there, they wasn't wearing no KKK, nothing like that, and flipping people middle fingers of white guys on. They were just sitting there, headphones chilling. And this guy's so belligerent, I almost went back to snatch the dude off there. Because I was that angry about it. And that be and you know. And I did not, and I wasn't angry to the point that I was like, would beat him up? But it's like, come on, man. Come on now, you know. It told me that right in there that black people be racist too. And and the sad part of it is, it's actually two of these three incidents, actually all three of them involving black people being racist in some sort of way, and one involving white. <laughs> well, here it is. Now, the bus incident was he, they got the black guys, the, the, were yelling the derogatory remarks. These guys didn't even sit there and blink. Actually, I would apologize to them about what happened because we're not supposed to be like that. We're not supposed to be like they all be one people, at least as far as I'm concerned. I mean, I have white friends, black friends, Mexican friends. Oh, gee whiz. I have people I play sports with that are Asian. You know, I talk to them about different things. Arabic people, same thing. It's like, I can't get along with everybody because, you know, I don't look at okay to cut your skin. I want to let the car look keen. Oh. Martin Luther King said, a content your character. That's always a key question. <laughs> people forget. No, key things you will forget. And that incident went on. He got the bus. The bus driver finally stopped saying and told the guy to get off the bus. And I was like, okay, finally. And that kind of went on. And I kind of said, okay, we had to win either to happen now and then. No big deal. Okay, I think that was like probably last week. Me either had me Wednesday night, Thursday night, or something like that. I went. Now let's fast forward it to uh that wasn't Wednesday night, I think it was either Thursday night or Friday night last week. Okay, let's fast forward to last yesterday. Today's Wednesday, uh July thirty first. This is yesterday night. I coach pal baseball. I use the backdrop. You know, my team's out the playoffs, he lost the first round. You know, I read the email trying to see who's playing in the finals, you know, particular coaches I don't want to see. I was gonna make sure I'm there to watch the game, whatever. So I'm looking at emails. I see a thread, um, two teens, they're both 18 years old, one's from East Quest, which is a, a suburb that borders just the outside edge of Southwest Detroit, and I guess another team from Detroit was playing, and there was some racial comments made between the coach from, from the team from East Quest back to players, and I think when the parents got mad, one of the players that came over from from one side that came over after the coach, and I heard it brawl, and they stopped the game, I'm just like, you know, and this age group particularly, I heard it was like 18 over. And I read the thread and was like, come on, you got to do better than that. And if I even told the, told it like, there shouldn't be no place for that. I mean, that stuff should have ended with Jackie Robinson. And, and it just hurt and disappointed to see that stuff happen. Even hear about it. We get the incident I saw in person. Now I read about one email. And, 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 and this was actually a team was mixed versus a team was black. And I read the second email thread I paid it to the later later on the evening. And it was about the same team from E Course talking about the team from Southwest Detroit making making comments about because they're mixing, making comments, derogatory remarks there. And it's like, come on. You know, this is 18 over team. These are not little kids. They're not, you know, this is something that was learned and really ingrained in them. And these kids are almost adults, and it's like, come on. I'd immediately just ended the game right then and there. I would have walked off the field and said, hey, we ain't going to go for none of that. No. Uh, and after that, I kind of read and I made my little remarks on there, some of which I will proudly, uh, I might post them on Facebook. I had to copy and do a little paste and I might post it. Just things to think about. Uh, then today, I was at the gym talking to one of my buddies. Uh, 
a good buddy of mine and 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 it's sort of it's sort of like and so like I think he has a struggle with that be as a struggle with some of us because and this kind of go back to the African American condition of being angry. Again, this is strictly more well anybody being angry been racially biased against or has seen it or has been ingrained in your ancestry and your history and your mind. And this would happen next. Now I've talked to him today now. What it is is he's black, his family black. Uh, his daughters live in the city. They, he's from here, but daughter's from here, but she lives in another city in the Midwest. And she's engaged to a guy that's white, but she was pregnant before that. And he was kind of upset about it. You know, it really hurt him. And I don't think the point that uh, that that we had talked and talked and talked and talked and talked and like, and it's kind of like, you know, I know the guy real well. And the thing is, like, because of his kid now, I think like, well, and I asked him, okay, if this was a black guy, would you be, you know, would you be upset about it? He, he probably told me, he gave him 10 checks, hey, you need to do the right thing, you marry my baby. I was like, oh, man, oh, man, oh, man. And I'm just sitting there with him, and it's like, oh, man, now, you know. And now he told me to go visit the family, and he's meeting the family, and like, you know, he said, mom was okay, dad can't give him cold shoulders. I'm kind of wondering, did he shook up, shook up the family doing Skin color, skin color different. People, well, you're not having a lot more similarities than you think you do. Just because some of us didn't get get to, you wouldn't living in the sun, like when the Bible split up. I'm not gonna go specific verses, but you know, days when God split everybody up, as they made idol worship and split everybody four different places, or five or whatever they did. I think it was four, and um, and they sent them off to different lands. And so, you know, some of us got the sun, and some of us stay like we were in the colder north and more northerly places. Some of us in Africa stay darker, you know, Asia, you know, Middle East, all that stuff. So, you know, we just look a little different, but we think we still, and doggone it, we still bleed the doggone same. And the idea of just, <sighs> I mean, just the idea, just nobody ever wins. You know, this whole racial bias thing, nobody ever wins. Who actually wins all this? Nobody. Because the side who starts it never get to learn about the other side. The side who gets it thrown at them be so angry, nobody don't want to listen to the other side, and then become this problem. Just like the stupid uh, knucklehead we got in the office right now. Doggone it. For the message of true folks out there, if you decide to vote for this guy again, we'll be on you, then you're really stupid. You're really stupid. He don't give a dog on about nothing else. It's already for him to make money. He's 70 some years old. He don't give a dog on. As far as he's concerned, hey, he got all the money in the world. He can do what he wants. Well, let's end the artist. Get him out of office. <sighs> so now here's the problem with the whole race situation and how this kind of rolls. So you got a situation, you got people yelling, screaming, derogatory remarks. You have people fighting at baseball games. You have people upset because now you got the interracial particular family thing and they don't understand. They worried about, yeah, I can understand you worry about the kids, them, the culture, and the kind of, I, I totally get that. But then you have to look inside yourself. What's your advice towards this? I mean, this particular person I know works with actually white, <laughs> white other cultures. But I guess maybe it's different because he's close to home. Me personally, and like I told them, like, I don't have no daughter or nothing like that. I can't totally see where he's at, but at least on part of it, I said, look, my female relatives, so that's something I'm real close to. I say, hey, I'm going to marry a white guy. Okay, okay, I'm being with this white guy. I love him. And like, what am I going to do? Go go in there and start chatting up problems. You know, hey, are you a carrying car member to KKK? You know, let, let, let's take a different mindset to this. You know, you know, what is it so hard for us to get along in this country? I don't know. Maybe because I was way out raised, I guess. I, I know the problem. I've seen it. And I've lived some of the issues. But but I know but I know the difference between, okay, somebody trying to be racist and somebody just because they're a little different and not black don't mean that, that mean they're a good person. they just not black. Hmm? Not white. Not whatever. they just human. And I think we spend more time dealing with the human element of being human versus who, black, white, whatever else. I understand TV and culture and all that. Maybe because I don't watch a lot of TV. I really don't outside of sports. And 
it does a really luckily hit there sometimes. Like it's a while back when the owners of the former owner of the Los Angeles Clippers actually really forced to do the sell the team because he was so bad about it. You know, but still, it's just, dude, we don't love everybody and trying to figure out who everybody was, is. None of us stand no chance. I mean, doggone it. Yeah, we supposed to be one people, especially here in Detroit now. I'm going to put it real like this. Detroit is not going to be just entirely African-American. If you get that out of your mind now who live here, scratch it out. That That's changed. That's a whole different animal. When you folks live out there in the rural areas of Michigan, you're not going to be all white. You're all going to learn how to get along at some point. We're all going to be mixed in. That is, it's obvious. You can tell by the census data, the shifting and everything everybody doing. And so at some point, we we keep, we want him a race, be a racist. <laughs> Yeah, waste of time. Because, like, in this country, for example, in 2020, which is like a year from now, not even a year from now, a few months, according to census data, that actually whites are going to be a minority. It actually will be almost a split culture. So, yeah, some of that's the fear of that. They don't know how to handle it. They've never been on the shore of the state. Yeah, there might be a day in my application that might be, say, white, blah, 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 a minority. Laugh at me, you must not say this, but. That they might not be far off. All right, and seeing the beginnings of it. People mix it in each other. It won't be any one or two particular races. I mean, it ain't really all one race, really. Unless you were when 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 God split up the people from the <laughs> from the out of worship, unless you stayed in that same place forever and made your whole family there since history began. No. Mm-hmm. No, we all got something else in there somewhere, some of us somewhere, and something else. We're not just all one set of people. And we better all figure this out. Especially this country, because we're not going back to this 1960 stuff. We're not going back to burning and having riots and all that, like I'm seeing on TV right after Trump got elected. I thought, I ain't going to lie to you, I thought I grabbed one of my grandfather's old 35 millimeter films and watching 1960s right. No, we, we, we need to get away from that. We just need to learn to get along. And I understand in Detroit, that's another problem. So the Middle East feel like trees are storage. Yeah, they need to act better. But we need not not always jump on their cases and bias so hard all the time. Well, hey, they earn themselves their own stuff, so we can't be mad at that. I also think, I think good idea, maybe we should have a culture class. Maybe we should have three or four schools, different races and cultures every year get together in different segments. Especially kids in Detroit. The Browns, a lot of these kids in Detroit don't know how to deal with people of other cultures and races. They just don't have it in them until they go out in the suburbs and have a conflict with the police or a storm or something. Then we got a whole other problem. So maybe we need to have classes on that. And also, as far as the whole dating and all that thing, personally, me, I don't care. I date to my black, white, Mexican, whatever. I get along, love them, I don't care. Huh? I don't care. And I think some of it with people like that way because like a lot of older people, like even black folks, hey, look, they enslaved us, they beat us, they they uh they they, they bias against us. Now you're gonna go marry, especially you get people who have daughters. Like, hey, you're gonna marry my daughter? You're gonna be what you gonna be her slave master? You know, that's sort of the mindset man said happens. Not intentionally, but that's still like the unintentional uh circumstance or consequence of it. And so now we kind of stuck in this old slave mentality days and slave thoughts. And I was like, no, hey, daughter might have a good guy. Might be just like you, daddy. But it's like, <sighs> but you don't see it because all you see is he's white. And especially in a situation less that the daughter gets pregnant before they get married. And now you're really ticked off because you're thinking like, she going to leave him? And it's going to be twice as bad angry. But there's a difference between what a black guy does and a white guy does. But you're angry more angry because he's white because you're looking at the whole slave and the history mentality. And I understand that still there hasn't been in our DNA. What they say uh, occurs is the last three or four generations. But we're almost about almost five generations past slavery. We need to start getting together and calm down and let's start thinking. You know, slavery 130 years, we figure generation 26. 26 is 2019, so 130 years ago. We're around 1880. So we're about 15 years past that gener- fourth generation. We need to start getting together. I ain't playing it simple. I don't care what type of race, what type of race it is, culture it is. If we keep fighting each other. Nobody wins. That's a race that never gets won. It's a battle that never gets won. So we got to all figure this out. 
So I'm going to address these three instances I talk about. The thing on the bus is like this. Dude, you're the total arrogant person, stupid. You saw white, you was angry, you saw, okay, you had a flashback to something happened to you, but God didn't say nothing to you, you just going to call him out the name. That was wrong. About the guys, the baseball team thing, boy, that shit never got that far. That's why I think you got to get the umpires, take the game, say, call the game, get everybody out of there. That's one thing should have been done. That's me just based off reading emails. Uh, the the game with my buddy, like I told him this morning, look, despite everything else, your daughter loves this guy. And uh, so you got to give this guy a chance. And you got to look at yourself now. You think you have some, you seem to have a bias towards race, even though you work around people other races and culture because now it's your daughter's at home. But now you got to still look at it the same way. Treat him just as well as anybody else. All right, she said you she you even told me that she fell in love with him because it reminded you he remind he reminded you of uh, uh she he reminded her of him. So it's like give everything a chance. Just because they look different than us and be different than us, give everybody a chance. Because like I said, the title of this video. If you try to be a racist, that's a race that will never be one. So, I'm sure I've had on here about almost 10 minutes now, definitely seven, eight minutes, but uh, we're actually close to about 16 minutes. Oh, wow. I had a lot of thoughts, but let's uh, just all get along. If you've got a problem, figure it out. Trust me, it, it's usually a personal issue. It's not because he's black, white, hate you, love you, just because we don't understand. I knew we take time to see each other, and that should take care of most of the problem. If not, this race will never be won. Thank you very much.